Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I am actually here with an Instax Share photo printer review today. Now this is the printer here on the left and you can see that the photo there is in the middle. Now these photos are about the size of a credit card or a gift card so I wanted to show you all of this in one frame so that you could kind of get an idea of what you're getting. Now I made a project with one of these photos over on my blog here today as well so you can kind of check that out and see how you can incorporate that into your crafting and that's why it has that little smile stamp stamped on the bottom of it already. Now I have my iPhone here too but I have checked and these are compatible with Android as well and this printer here measures about 4 inches by 4.8 inches and it's about 1.6 inches deep so it's very small very lightweight and very portable and very fun. It's kind of a toy, I would say. Um, you're not going to get like super great prints from this, but I thought I would show you how this works. So here's your on button. You can see it lights up here when I turn it on. And on the front, the lights are hard to see, but it will show you how many prints you have left in your camera as well as your battery life. Now the battery comes with the camera and it lasts for about 100 prints. And I have about five prints left on this roll of film here. So in order to use this I need to go into my Wi-Fi settings. This was not hard to set up at all. Once you turn it on it will show up in your Wi-Fi networks and I just click on the Instax whatever network it is and connect to that in order to be able to print. Now I've downloaded the Instax Share app on my phone so that I can print to directly from my phone to my printer. Now you can actually take a photo in this app, but I'm going to use one that's already in my camera roll. Now it comes up with the wrong, um, you know, album for me, but I, I went in and I selected a photo that I have of me and my daughter from our recent vacation. We took a trip over to the California coast and I just selected that and you can see that it comes up on my screen here, but the orientation is not kind of how I want it. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit for you. Sorry for the blurriness. But I'm going to zoom it in and I'm going to show you that I can actually edit this right here in the um, software. I'm just turning up my brightness so that you guys can see it. So I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to rotate this so that I get it with the big white strip on the bottom. And I can move it over and get it centered the way that I want. Now, right in this software, I can actually enlarge this photo. There's some filters in here. So there's lots of different things that you can do within the software. You can, um, I'm just kind of playing around with it here. I really haven't had this this long, but I love it. And someone requested that I do a review. So you can see here, I can zoom it all in just with my fingers. I can kind of turn it and twist it and straighten it out and get it exactly how I want it within the software itself. There's buttons to enlarge, buttons to shrink. So I, I think overall that the app itself is really easy to use. I think that this is something that my mom could use, that my mother-in-law could use, because I feel like once you know how to use your iPhone, this is all about touching and really moving it within the app that you can do. Now, I will show you some more advanced editing later, but once I get this photo exactly where I want it, then I'm just going to go up to that right upper hand corner within the app and say I'm done with it. And then I'm going to hit the print button right at the bottom. Now I did not edit this out. You'll see the printer is already responding. The, the green light is blinking. I didn't edit it out because I wanted to see, I wanted to show you exactly how long it takes to print this picture. It's not long at all. I would say maybe 20 seconds or so. And then the picture pops out. Now these are Polaroid pictures. So you'll just pull it out and you do need to let it develop just like the old school Polaroid pictures. Now the this is the same picture. That was all the editing that I did within that app. So you can see it here. And you can see that it's not quite as vibrant as the photo that's on my phone these pictures do tend to blow out a little bit. And what that means is they're just a little bit brighter and not quite as saturated as what they appear on your phone. So here I've gone into my PicTapGo app. It is a photo editing app and I'm opening my photo and I'm just playing with some of the filters that are in here trying to get a better result on the color and the tone of this picture. So this is the lights out filter within the PicTapGo app. 
and I've just added that one filter. I'm saving it to my camera roll, and then I'm going to go back into my Instax Share um, app here and print that one out. Now, I'm showing you this as I'm actually playing with it. These photos, if you want a better quality photo, probably will require you to, you know, alter it in some way. But it's not necessary. I'm going to show you an option later on that doesn't require another app. So here I've gone back into my PicTapGo app, and you can see I have my photo there. It's already got the lights out filter on it. But I'm going to add the equalize filter to it as well because you can see my original with no editing there. And then you can see my second photo, that one in the frame is the lights out only. And I'm taking this one, this has lights out and equalize, and I'm printing it on my Instax as well. This really was like a playing process for me to try to figure out not only what worked best, but what I liked best. Because I really feel like photography is kind of one of those things where some people like certain filters and some people don't. So now I've taken that lights out and equalize edited one. This is the same one that is the third version there. And I have put a filter on right in the Instax Share app. So it has the lights out and the equalize. And then I put the intelligence filter on in the Instax Share app. It's one of the filters that comes right in the app. So you wouldn't have to go out of the app to put this on. And that's the fourth version there. You can see it um, kind of developing there. And that one actually turned out really good. I really liked it. So what I decided to do was open the original with no edits at all right in the Instax Share app. And then I'm going to just, just add the intelligence filter. So I have not edited this photo in the PicTap Go at app, at all, app at all. I'm just printing the original with the Instax Share filter. And I'm going to print that from my um, printer as well. So here are the five pictures. I started with five available on my camera roll or my film roll. It's not really a roll, but you know, available in my printer. And it needed to be changed, so I thought I would show you that this is really easy. This is what it looks like when it's all empty. And you just use these Instax Mini Polaroid, they're by Fuji um, film. These are an ISO 800, so you can, from what I understand, take them through an x-ray machine at the airport, so you could travel with this. I'm just going to open up. These come in packs of 10. I, to my knowledge, the, can, the film itself does not come in other than these little containers of 10. And you can see here it tells you not to push on that part. And it has this little yellow marker that you're just going to line up with the yellow marker on the film holder in the camera. It shows you where not to push on that. And then you're just going to push it closed. Now this has a little cover sheet that protects the film and that will pop out automatically once you load the film. So that's just how you reload the printer itself. It's very easy. So now here's all the fully developed pictures that I have printed. You can see the original there is on the far left, and then I have the original with the intelligence only filter on the far right. So those are the two that I got directly from the Instax app. I did not go with out of the app at all to um, edit those. Now this one here, the second one in, that's the lights out. The third one is the lights out and equalize, and those were both added in the PicTap Go app. And then the fourth one here is the lights out, the equalize, and then the intelligence filter in the Instax app. Now my two favorite are probably these two here, this one and this one. Now like I said, Kind of photography is kind of all about what you like, so you have to kind of play with this and decide what you like. But I think my best results come from actually going outside of the Instax app and adding some filters to it for my taste. So there's a look at the Fuji Instax Share Printer. It's something that I really love and ha enjoy having in my craft room. There's links to where I bought this in the YouTube description as well as over at my blog at Sprinkled with Glitter. And you can also see a project using one of these Instax prints as well. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a fabulous day.